So we're here at the Adobe head offices in San Francisco for the Generative AI Summit. Adobe's given us a tour of the facilities and showing us what they've been working on in the AI space. And I'm super excited to show you guys. So let's check it out. Gen AI Summit, baby. To get started, head over to firefly.adobe.com so you can try these tools and follow along. This first feature, if I'm being honest, was the first feature they showcased, I think, and is one of my favorites from the entire summit. So Adobe just made sound effects editable with your voice. You can literally say boom, and AI turns it into an actual explosion. You can say whoosh, and suddenly you have a professional cinematic sound effect, and it doesn't stop there. You don't even actually have to say it out loud. You can just type any sound as a prompt and AI will generate it instantly. No more searching through endless sound libraries if you don't want to. Just describe the sound and it's done. I did actually get to see this feature in person and from what I saw, it works as well as they say. The quality is shockingly good, like ready to use in your edits good. But right now it's still listed as coming soon on the Firefly web app. But as soon as it drops, I'll be testing it in real world edits to see if it holds up. But let me know, what's the first sound you test with this? Drop your craziest ideas in the comments because I'd love to check them out. All right, this next one is huge. In theory, Adobe's AI can now generate VFX overlays like fog, fire, rain, or snow on a green screen or black background. You type in what you need and Firefly generates it ready to key into your edit. And no, it's not limited to natural elements like rain and snow. You can prompt it to generate basically anything you want. Now, I really wanted this to be plug and play, but if I'm being honest, there are still some kinks. The tool definitely works, but prompting is key. If you take the time to refine your prompts, you can generate some really cool results. For example, I used this to create a snowfall overlay for a short form lab with Adobe, and it took me a while to get it just right. But once I nailed the prompts, it made compositing that much easier. You can also generate full AI videos from scratch, just like other text to video generators out there, but it is nice to have an Adobe option. And from my testing, it's actually really good at animated characters. It also shines in creating specific visual styles like claymation, anime, and other fun effects. But when it comes to high quality cinematic photorealistic footage, I had a harder time dialing it in. Was that a prompting issue on my end? Maybe so. I'm still figuring out the best workflow with Firefly, but the potential here feels massive. So let me know, would you use AI generated overlays or do you think stock footage is still a better option? Let me know in the comments. And finally, for my 3D artists, this one's for you. Adobe's Project Neo is an AI powered 3D tool that lets you generate objects from scratch. Now, if you've ever used Blender or Cinema 4D, this kind of feels like that, but with an AI twist. You can generate basic 3D models, then apply AI generated textures to them. The really cool part, you can combine this with a style prompt to create stylized 3D assets instantly. Now, I can definitely see this being useful for storyboarding or ideation, but for me, I don't have a specific workflow for this yet. Now, there is a workaround to create AI videos using Project Neo. Just generate an image, then use it as a reference for image to video, but I would love a one-stop shop. If this expands into AI-generated 3D animation for video, now that could be huge. 3D artists would use this, and what's your dream AI feature for 3D model? Let me know in the comments. So now you know what Adobe's got cooking in the AI space. Hopefully it's got you guys as excited as it's gotten me, especially being here in person, getting to give real-time feedback to the Adobe crew. It's been unreal. They were super receptive, even while some of us were just ripping their software apart. But at the end of the day, it's all for the betterment of the software and us as creatives. So with that being said, peace.